So this is what we've got going on now. It's been a few weeks since I started this endeavor. And I've got quite a bit of progress in the cricket rearing department, I guess. Um, so I sort of figured out that they like it when there's um, sort of a lot of dark places. And I, I think the reason why I was losing a lot of crickets before was because uh, this vermiculite stuff that's like basically all over the place, it's um, sort of like, uh, it's hard to explain almost, like sort of rocky silicate in nature. Um, it holds on to water, as you can tell, sort of pretty well. Um, but I think it also slows a lot of bacterial growth. I don't think the bacteria can grow super great on it. So I think that's why they recommended it because, um, crickets tend to like smell a lot and, you know, they sort of eat everything and, but either way, I think that, uh, the moisture wasn't really holding too much to this stuff. And I was sort of just desiccating uh, a lot of the larger crickets. I didn't really think I needed to uh, provide a lot more water for them. So I just uh, tipped this over here um, just to try and add a, sort of another substrate in at least one area. Um, and uh, this way these guys hopefully will sort of get a place that's a little bit cooler um, to sort of hang out if they really want to. Um, but they do usually burrow, and they really like hanging out underneath the egg crates. Um, but there's so many of them, like as you saw, there's, I mean, there's probably, I don't know, you probably saw at least a few, um, probably, I don't know, 80 to 150 in here. It's hard to count these things, but, um, and then on each of those, there's not as much. Um, but I probably have 200 or so crickets uh, that I'm at least keeping alive for now. Um, and eventually I gotta figure out <laughs> once they, they're able to jump out of this thing. I'll give you a little bit better perspective here. Once they're able to jump out of this thing, you know, I gotta sort of figure out what to do, what to do there. I think I'm just gonna keep the lid on, um, but then also, um, add something else to the exterior so that way they don't start hopping around the house a bunch so well we'll see but the uh cricket breeding has been a success at least so far so i'm proud of it and glad that i could share it with you murphy out